Hi everybody, it's been a while, but uh, I finally got my Australian lungfish. I've been wanting the, one of these pretty much all my life. They're absolutely my favorite animal. Um, you can see really how much they look like a salamander here. Um, but these are fish, they'll get about, I bet I'll get about three to four foot long, full grown. Um, and I plan on having them a very long time. These are probably one of the rarest and hardest to get um, aquarium fish. Uh, also one of the most expensive. Um, they are endangered in the wild. Uh, these were captive bred by Jardinia International. Um, this one was imported by Lone Star Aquatics. Because they're protected in Australia, uh, they all have to be captive bred. These guys actually come microchipped like an Asian arowana and with a certificate with that tag number. So you know exactly where it came from, which farm it was bred on. I've only had him about a week now, but he is gaining confidence. He's eating a lot better than when I first got him. Uh, it's been kind of difficult getting him eating really well. Uh, the, his favorite food that I've found so far is New Life Spectrum pellets. Uh, they're garlic scented and he seems to, seems to be drawn to that. I've been trying algae wafers and things that he'll eventually take to. Um, and they do need a lot of plant matter in their diet. But right now, I'm just glad he's eating the pellets more and more confidently every day. One of the reasons these are my favorite fish is because they're actually a lobe-finned fish. Uh, besides the other lungfish species, the only closest relative to these is the uh, deep-sea coelacanth. That's the only other uh, lobe-finned fish. There's eight in total. Uh, one South American lungfish, one Australian lungfish, this guy. Two coelacanth species, and then the rest are all different species of African lungfish. And when I say lobe-finned fish, the difference between lobe-finned and ray-finned fish, it's like comparing birds to reptiles. Um, it's a huge difference between them, huge difference in the families. Um, there's actually three groups of fish, the sharks and rays, the lobe-finned fish, and then pretty much every other fish species falls under the ray-finned fish. Oh, besides jawless fish, that's a whole other branch of fish as well. And that includes like lampreys and hagfish, which I would love to keep one day if I can ever find a source of one and a way to keep a lamprey happy in a tank. But yeah, thanks for watching. Be prepared for more updates.